What's up everybody, this is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. In this video, we're taking a look at how to add social media icons in a React project using Font Awesome. And we're starting right now. All right, so I have a version of React. I'm running a Gatsby version here, and it's running pretty successfully so far with Hello World at the top. And I have Div Hello World, and I'll move the Div down a little bit more as well. The only thing I've also added to this Gatsby project is I set up a custom CSS file, which is basically and is blank at this current time. I want to go ahead and stop my development server, and I'm going to bring in a couple plugins. The first I'm going to bring in is React Bootstrap. This is like my numeral uno tool for anything React design wise. I'm going to say get started. I'm going to use this to just lay out my icons down the road in a much easier fashion. I'm going to copy this npm install and drop it in. Again, this is optional, but I like bringing it first and foremost. We're going to use it for moving and also making it responsive easily with the container inside of React Bootstrap. The next part, while we're actually doing this at the same time, I'm going to come down here, copy my CSS and drop it in, drop it to my index file. And I am going to make sure I'm going to put their Bootstrap min CSS above my custom CSS. I want to make sure the custom, because it is cascading, goes below the bootstrap. And so far, so good. I'm going to quickly run Gatsby develop to make sure this is working successfully. I don't want to go too far, because if I do too much, then something breaks or crashes, I have to go back four or five steps. So I'm usually the person that kind of runs develop quite a bit, just to make sure it's working fine. And so far, so good. The the way I know this is going to work is if I refresh this page, you'll see Hello World go from serif to sans serif font using the bootstrap minified CSS file. Awesome. The next thing I want to do is I want to go and get my font awesome icons courtesy of font awesome. Now, if we go to the website or if we just do a quick search for font awesome react, if I pull this up right here, React Font Awesome Docs, there's two of them. There's 6.11 and 5.15. I'm actually gonna use the older version. They both do the same thing, but there's actually, I call it a glitch in version six and kind of in version five. And that's because there's not a lot of details when it comes to bringing the actual brand icons courtesy of Font Awesome. So for this version, I'm actually gonna follow version 5.15. Again, very minimal differences between the two. They both work successfully. I've just found version five to be a little easier than actually version six. So I'm gonna come down this page and what I'm looking for is getting started. I'm gonna copy these three pieces by copy code snippet and drop those three pieces in. Now here's the thing, that the additional styles are all the pros and the general ones are the free salt SVG icons, but what I'm looking for are the brands. And the brands are kind of hidden halfway down the page on this section. So if I keep scrolling and creep scrolling, I'm looking for this FAB. And it's actually Fort Awesome Free Brands SVG icons. But it's not located at the very top. I'm not really quite sure. And they do have additional information with the different pieces, but they don't have an easy way to just simply installing it. So what I have to do is I actually have to copy this little bit of information between the two um, single quotes. I'm gonna copy this Fort Awesome Free Brands SVG icons. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replicate the same process as up here. So I'm gonna say npm i dash dash save and then paste in that brand information. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say npm i dash dash save, and then paste in the free brands SVG icons, as that's what we're gonna use. So it's kind of buried. I kind of call it a glitch. That's just my own two cents. I'm not quite sure why I didn't add it to the different list of copy and pasteable things, but I'm not in charge of the website. So if you know people working at Fun Awesome, please pass along the memo. Cool. Now we have those two pieces in place. I'm gonna do Gatsby develop. And as this is starting up, I'm gonna head back down because I am gonna use that information with that FAB section. And what I have to do is I have to bring in a couple things. While I have the Fort Awesome copied anyway, I'm gonna make sure I have it copied one more time. 
I'm going to come down here back into my Gatsby slash react project and I'm going to say import. I'm going to like to actually type in my open and close curly brackets and then say from, and I'll say in this case, Fort awesome free brands, SVG icons. Now we need one more component to this and we can check to make sure it's working. So how I look for these icons, speaking of the free brands piece, you know, actually hold that thought. I'm going to bring in one more component. So don't forget this and I screw everything up. What I have to do is I have to import the, re the Fort or the font awesome icon from Fort awesome react font awesome. So if I copy this as well, I'm going to drag it or copy and paste right to the top. We should have it all working fine. Yes, it is warning me. I haven't used it. So now we're back to looking for our free brands SVG icons. If I come up here and I search for Facebook, that's going to be our first icon. And we'll click and then we'll click one more time. I don't click and copy this react version. What I am going to do though, is I'm going to notice it says FA dash Facebook. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to say import and FA and then capital F for Facebook. What that's going to do is that's going to bring in this Facebook icon. Yep. It's going to say, I've got two icons I haven't used. And now if I come back over, if I head back, I should have probably had two different tabs here in hindsight would have been fantastic. Oh, come on. There we go. Now we're back down to the section. So for the icon, what I want to do is I want to say font awesome icon and then icon equals FA Facebook. So what I'm going to do here is hello world. We're doing, you know what? Let's actually do a little more cleanup first. I was almost going to get there back to react bootstrap. I'm going to go. I want to bring in a container. So I'm going to do is one more little bit of touch up. I'm going to say import. And then in here, I will say from react bootstrap. Can't forget my design components and I'll say container the magical piece of react bootstrap inside of the divs. I'm going to say container and then I'll make hello world be an H one just to do a little bit of cleanup in here. And we'll say H1, I'll say class name. I'm going to add it to the center. And we have hello world and what should have happened. There it goes. Not quite sure why it didn't refresh right there, but hello world. All right. Now we're ready for some icons. I'm going to add a div for right now here. I'll say a href and I'll say HTTP colon slash slash facebook.com. Don't forget to add your link. If you're setting up these icons inside of this a, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say font awesome icon icon equals F a, it should have caught the F a Facebook. And if we then close it, I'm not quite sure why it didn't catch it. There it goes. It shows this little Facebook icon. Now clean up on aisle five. To me, I want a white icon on a dark background and I want to have this icon a little more towards the middle. So we're going to head to the CSS to kind of do all of that. Inside the CSS, I'm going to say body and I've already got a gradient picked out on another screen. So I'm going to copy this background gradient color in. If I drop it in, this is courtesy of CSS gradients, small plug to them. It has this weird kind of like tiling effect. So I'm going to say height in here and say 100 vertical height. So it then moves it right to the very bottom of the screen. And in here, I'll say color white to then change hello world to white. Now note, it didn't change the Facebook icon. So I'm going to do is a couple more things. I'm going to create a single call. This is kind of my way of saying, I'm going to make a one column design. I'm going to make it at 750 pixels. So I'll say single call max width 750 pixels and to move it to the middle is margin zero auto. And if we do one more piece at the bottom, I'm going to create a social media icons, white class, and then change all those a tags to color of white. And since this is pretty darn small, I'm going to change the font size to font size to a two rem. 
if we add all these components to our index file, so if we come back in, inside this div, I'm gonna say class name equals single call. That's gonna first move it towards the middle. And I'm also gonna say social media icons white. And now, poof, there it goes. So after that, what I wanna do is now bring in a Twitter icon. Now the great part is, actually I'm gonna do Instagram and then Twitter, I take that back. Inside of the free brands SVG icons, I'm gonna say FA Twitter. And just like magic, the Twitter auto populates. Pretty cool. Inside this A tag, I'm gonna copy and paste and change Facebook to Instagram. So let me take that back. I typed Twitter, but I really want an Instagram. So I'll save that. And in the meantime, I'll say FA Instagram. And we'll keep Twitter for a second or a third time. So if I then change the icon Instagram, now I get the Instagram icon. You can kind of see they're pretty bunched up. We're going to use Flex with Bootstrap in a second to separate them. Since we already have Twitter, let's just bring in Twitter. If we then copy the A tags, if we change this to FA Twitter and save, now we get the Twitter icons. Now, great part about bringing in React Bootstrap is it comes already loaded with the vanilla version of Bootstrap, which has Flex built in. So if I say Dflex, by default, those are now flexible different components. In this case, these A tags. I wanna separate them evenly. So I'm gonna say justify content evenly. What's gonna happen is those three icons separate evenly between here, 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 and here. Awesome. Now let's bring in a TikTok icon. So what I'm gonna do is I'll type FA TikTok or T-I-K. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna copy and paste that down here. And if we do the A tag, we'll bring in the TikTok icon. And the magic of flexes, it automatically flexes depending upon how many icons I already have. TikTok.com, and the last one I would bring in is YouTube. As you can tell, I'm just gonna hit the comma and then say FA YouTube and bring this in. FA YouTube, one more copy and paste, and we'll bring in FA YouTube right here. And of course, let's do a little bit of cleanup and we'll change TikTok to YouTube.com. And this is how you can bring in any icon of the social media icon simply by just typing in in the Fort Awesome, or you can go back to Fun Awesome and find a variation of a square or a different version for your next React project.